I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. I got this dope Perler Beat art in the background. And what can I say? I was a massive Turtles fan as a kid. I, I had everything from toys, I got skateboards, I got posters, you name it. And I have all of the Turtles games that we're going to be unboxing here, complete series. But first, we're getting into the classic from Ultra Games. This game was known to be notoriously difficult. So is the whole series, to be honest. So let's get on with it here. You got the classic Turtles logo. You got the original all red Turtles. I believe that's how the comic started. I mean, this is an awesome background here. It looks like they're ready to fight. Nothing too crazy. The sides, don't want to miss those. Pretty good shape. Here's the back. Some screenshots. It had a unique, like, top-down portion, kind of like Zelda, and then the side-scrolling beat-em-up action. Heroes in a half shell, yeah, I love that. It's for one player game. Unlike the second version, the arcade version, they made a two player on the NES, which, you know, in my, my mind, elevated the game to a whole new level. So there's the box. We're gonna get right into the contents here. You got the cartridge and the manual. So here's the manual, black and white turtles. Looks like the whole thing's black and white. Basic instructions, how to continue. Ooh, you got the four main Ninja Turtles here. I'm a big Leo, Leo fan, you know, blue was my favorite color, so naturally he was my favorite turtle. It's a little sticky. Some level design here, black and white. Oh yeah, look at that, I actually, I have this kid, uh, this toy. I believe it's at my grandma's house. I have this little uh, party wagon, the legit toy. I have a lot of Ninja Turtles toys. They're going up in value, actually. I should figure out where those are. Look at that, all these enemies. I hate these little robots with a passion. And that's about it for the instruction booklet. Let's get on into the cartridge, standard gray cart. And let's check the insides here. Oh, let's do, no, let's do this. There we go. Here's your circuit board. You know, nothing special, just like showing it off so you can get an idea in case you wanna check on yours. And now let's get into a quick review. Oh uh -huh, yeah, hell yeah. One of the most intense intros I've ever seen in my life. Raphael. Love it. Teenage motherfucking mutant ninja turtles. Welcome to it. We got this sick background tune. Oh my god. Leo. Katana blades. Love it. I mean, you know this game's epic. Just from the very get-go, right from the start, it's an epic game. Alright, let's do it up, here we go. Man, that's classic. How I get in, yo? Aha, there we go. See you later, son. Woohoo! Oh, yo, I'm dodging these kids, yo. Damn, he ain't got nothing on me. So, I played a lot of this as a kid. What the? Oh, I'm just back to where I started. And I got wrecked. Mowed the fuck over. Man, this is a freaking epic game. I don't care about how hard it is. It's an awesome game. Haters can hate all they want. This game really set the, set the standard for the TMNT series. Just non-stop beat-em-up action. A little bit of platforming. Oh! Yo! Yo, how'd that happen? Damn, I glitched him good! Alright, I'm going back in here. Bam! I think Donatello was the most OP because of his long, uh, wood pole. 
You can actually like hit through walls and stuff. Pretty overpowered. Do, 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 Look at that. I can take out all of them. And here we go. Bam! I already got that mid-level boss. And what was the point of that? Nothing. So I just did this whole dungeon for nothing. Wow, that upsets me a lot. So, that's another reason this game people don't like this game. I just did that whole thing for nothing. And I'm not too bad at this game after coming back 20 years later, trying it out. So overall, very pleased with the way this game is going. Until that guy's camping me. There we go. Now we can get up. There's April! What? How is he hitting me there? Holy! I was about to go fucking rage mode there. But we did it. We got April. So I think that's a good point to call it a day. Don't let the Foot Clan destroy the dam. Alright? So, overall, amazing game. Thanks for tuning in. As always, let me know what you think of this game in the comments below or what I should open next. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.